We're actually live on both officially. Hi guys, can everybody hear me? We're gonna give it a, another minute or so for everyone to get settled, turn on, roll out your mat, get ready. And Jody is here to kick off our evening live online practices. Thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to flow by day in Oceanside and by night here in Freeport. I know that many of your students seeing you here on a Wednesday night <laughs> in the same space where they come to roll out a mat and practice with you is going to mean um, so much to them as much as it means to me. I love you. Thanks for showing up you. for Thank all you of for us today. Thank you for opening up this space so that we can still practice mm. and so that we can still see one another and still practice together. So let's check the volume if you want to just um, Say hi and greet if everyone could give me thumbs up if the volume seems okay or down if they if it's not loud enough. Yes, thumbs up if you can hear me well and thumbs down if you need me to yell a little bit louder. <laughs> Let's see. Hey Jody, Danielle. Danielle says hey Jody. Hi. I, I see a couple of thumbs up, so I think everyone is happy on Instagram and Work in progress, forgive me for my lack of photography skills. But all right. <laughs> all right, we're in. Okay, so you are all set. Um, I just want to first say thank you to Leah and to Breathe and Flow for allowing us to have this space um, where we can still practice together. Um, although our circles have become a lot smaller, um, it's a beautiful thing that we're able to do this and we can almost expands. You can practically take a yoga class with any teacher in the world these days, uh, which is a beautiful thing. And if you chose me tonight, I'm really thankful for that. Um, I plan to offer you a half hour or so of a flow that will focus on your core and building strength. And I think that's super important right now, um, especially in this time of chaos, that we can build strength here on the mat. And I say this all the time, and I say it because I truly, truly believe it. What we do here and what we practice here and what we learn here, we get to take outside into the world with us. So when we um, practice challenging, put ourselves into challenging shapes on the mat and we get through it, it's such a lesson to be learned. Um, I hope that you will take what you like from today's practice and leave the rest. And I'm just very happy and pleased to leave you today. So wherever you are, um, just come and sit in a, a nice, comfortable, tall seat. You can cross the ankles, you can extend the legs, you can hug the knees in, and then gently just close the eyes. Hands can be on the thighs, face down, or palms up. And just take a moment to start to tune into your own breath you may realize that this moment of tuning into your own breath is the first time you paid attention all day today. And so whatever you've brought to your mat or to your space today, whatever type of breath, whether it's long and fluid already, or possibly it's a little bit shorter and choppier, that's okay. Because as long as you're breathing, you're doing yoga. We'll start to sit up a little bit taller on each inhale. And then with each exhale, we might sink a little bit, we might ground a little bit, we might take up a little bit more space. And when you notice, or if you notice that the mind starts to wander, just coming back to the simple inhale and the simple exhale. Starting to manipulate the breath a little bit or deliberately breathe in a slightly different way. So on each inhale, we'll start to expand the belly and let the ribs get really wide, filling up the belly like a balloon. And on the exhale, we'll tap into the core, pull the navel back into the spine, interlace ribs like fingers, and then lift the belly button up a bit. On the inhale, releasing, again, filling up the belly like a balloon. And on the exhale, hugging the navel back and lifting it high, almost giving yourself a little squeeze, a little hug from the outside in. Couple more times just like that. Inhaling and exhaling. You might notice that the breath wants to become a little bit louder and that's good. 
you have ujjayi breath in your practice, practicing that nice, loud, proud, and victorious breath in through the nose and out through the nose. So sometimes when we allow the breath to become a little bit louder, it becomes not only a reminder to ourselves to breathe, but to everybody around us. On the next inhale, we'll lift the arms all the way up, bring the palms together, look up, and then on the exhale, bring the hands down through center. Just noticing how you feel, just noticing what you've brought to your mat or your space or your little corner of a living room today. Next inhale, gently opening the eyes. And on the exhale, we'll rock over onto hands and knees in tabletop position. So setting up, we'll bring the shoulders right on top of the wrists and the hips right on top of the knees, taking you through the cat cows. On the inhale, tuck the toes, let the belly drop, pull the shoulders back and press the chest through, looking up. And on the exhale, releasing the feet, pressing the ground away, hugging the navel in and up, just as we did when we were seated. Taking a few rounds just like that. Inhale, pulling the chest through. And on the exhale, curling back into yourself. Perhaps pausing there and lifting the navel, finding a little bit of fire. A couple more rounds just like that. If you'd like, you can start to tuck the toes, lift the knees just an inch, and take the same movements. So inhaling to look up, and then exhaling to round while the knees hover. Couple of rounds. And then on the next exhale, rounded spine, toes tucked, pressing back down or facing dog. Lifting the hips nice and high and finding maybe the first of the day or maybe the hundredth of the day. But coming into your downward facing dog, however you do, maybe wiggling out the hips a bit, pedaling out the knees, rocking hips, rolling out to the right side, the left side, and then eventually finding your downward facing dog, a little bit of stillness here. Every inhale, we can find a lift of the hips and every exhale, pressing the chest gently back and the head towards the mat. Coming back to those inhales and exhales that will lead us through our practice today. Spicing up the downward dog a little bit. Nice inhale all the way up high upon the toes, trying to get the heels past the toes. So really pulling forward. And then on the exhale, bend the knees a lot, bringing the ribs all the way back towards the thighs and thighs hugging in towards the ribs and hold. So you might find it a little bit challenging here. We need two super duper straight, strong arms, biceps forward, triceps back. Gently inhaling and exhaling from this space that might seem hard. And that's okay. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, bend the knees even more. Next, inhale, take a look forward, travel to plank pose. Top of a push-up, biceps forward, triceps back. Nice flat back. Press back through the heels and pull the crown of the head forward. Inhale here, exhale, downward facing dog. Two more times, just like that. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale, back to plank. On the exhale, lower the knees, chest and the chin, pull the elbows back. Inhale, slip it through cobra. Elbows back, tops of the feet down, pausing here. Maybe coming to fingertips, finding a little bit of a wiggle with the shoulders. Shoulder over the right shoulder, pressing into two hands on the exhale, back to downward facing up. Next, inhale, high up on the toes, and then stay high up on the toes. Two really, really straight arms and two really, really straight legs. Start to walk forward on tiptoes, nice and slow. One small step at a time. And then once you arrive, on the inhale, stay on toes, press to fingertips, flat back. Exhale, release the palms, release the heels, and fold. Little bend in the knee, and rolling up. Nice and slow. Shoulders and head come up last, palms forward. Take a step mountain pose, top of your mat or top of your space. Toes together, heels slightly apart, and then we'll move together on the inhale, arms high, exhale, fold. Inhale, flat back, right leg back, right knee down, look up, pause. Feet together, plank pose. Exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, slither through cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Left foot in between the hands, right knee down again, look up. Feet together, flat back, top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, coming right back down. Inhale, flat back. Left leg back, left knee down, look up. Feet together, plank pose. Exhale, lowering down knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga your way. Inhale, pull the chest through. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Right foot in between the hands, left knee down, look up. Feet together, flat back, top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. And then on the exhale, hands to the heart center, closing the eyes. Just taking a moment to notice what comes up when we start to move. Checking in with the breath. Gently opening the eyes. Feet together, heels slightly apart. Chair pose, fierce pose. Sit nice and low. Rise through the chest and drop through the seat. And first taking a really nice easy chair, like sticking everything back, releasing the ribs, and then making it work. Interlacing ribs like fingers, navel in and up, chest lifts, seat drops. So we're really tall from the hips up, but we're a little low from the hips down. Inhaling here, exhale sit a little bit lower. Inhale here. Exhale a little bit lower, 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 fold. Inhale, flat back. Step to plank, one leg at a time. Pausing here, dropping knees, chest, chin, or shifting forward an inch. Elbows into the ribs, pause, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Pause. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, knee to forehead. Hold. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, knee as far forward as you can get it. Hold. Take a look down and then super soft. Right foot in between the hands, setting up for high lunge. Just swing the feet a little bit. Start to walk the hands back. Totally okay if you can have your hands to blocks, the mat. Maybe we bring them up to the hips. Maybe the heart. Maybe the sky. Lots of energy back through that left heel, bending deeply into that right thigh. So choosing something in the room that you're in that you like. Setting the gaze and holding it there. On the inhale, start to slowly straighten front leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend and stay. Right hand, right hip, left hand to the earth. Think about freeing right ribs up and gluing left ribs to right thigh. Maybe extending the arm high. Coming back to that loud, proud, even breath. Inhale here, and then exhale here. Pull the right shoulder back in space. You can stay exactly as you are, or maybe one breath, one movement, or 10 breaths and 10 movements, side plank, left side. Stacking right foot over left, or we can drop the bottom knee, right arm high. Inhale, lift hips. On the exhale, take a look down. Right hand to the earth, plank pose. Lower down your way. Inhale, cobra up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pausing here. And just remembering that we always, always, always have an option for child's pose where we drop the knees, release the seat to the feet, and release the head. Downward facing dog, if you took that nice child's pose. Inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose, tap. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, knee to forehead, hold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pulling that left knee in, navel in and up. Take a look down, gently left foot in between the hands. Maybe a little rock forward and back. Setting up for our high lunge. Lots of energy through that back heel. Navel in and up. Breathe. And how are we doing, okay? <laughs> Inhale here. Exhale, sit a little bit lower. Setting the gaze once more on something, not someone, something that's not moving. And on the inhale, start to straighten front leg. Exhale, bend. 
Inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. One more time. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend. This time you take left hand, left hip, right hand to the earth. And stay right here with the hand on the hip as we start to pull left ribs up and press right ribs forward. Maybe we lift the arm. Staying or rolling to the outer edge of the right foot, side plank, right side. Every inhale, think about lifting hips high. On the exhale, take a look down, left hand to the earth, plank pose, pause for the inhale, exhale, lower down your way. Inhale, cobra, upward facing dog, pull shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Pausing, resetting, taking that child's pose if you need it. The next inhale, lift the right leg up. On the exhale, hug it in. Right foot in between the hands, coming straight to stand on right foot, catching left shin, interlacing fingers. Maybe we take hands under the thigh. You can stay right there. If you feel a little wobbly, that's okay. Maybe extending the leg. Maybe releasing the hand. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, back to that high lunge. Two hands to the earth. Take your flow or come straight to downward facing dog. Next inhale, left leg up and back. On the exhale, left leg between the hands. Coming to stand on left. Right. Hard. Good Knee. job. Grabbing shin underneath the thigh. Maybe extending. Maybe releasing. They're all just maybes. Nothing is required. Eventually stepping back to that high lunge. Pausing. Releasing two hands down. Taking your flow or finding downward facing dog. Again, always an option to drop the knees and find child's pose. Water break whenever you need it. So we're gonna, when we're ready, either coming from our downward facing dog or from our child's pose, crawl hands forward and find plank pose. Take a nice deep inhale and a nice long exhale. So we start to notice that when we put ourselves in these positions, sometimes we want to immediately get out of them. <laughs> but maybe we can find a little bit of time here to settle into discomfort and to settle into challenge. So option to keep two straight arms, or maybe we drop down to the forearms. Palms can face down, up, or they can come together. So if you've taken my classes before, you know that I like to stay here for really uncomfortable periods of time. If and when you need a break, you drop the knees. You take your break, and when you're ready, you come back, and we're here waiting for you. The other option for a break is to keep the feet where they are, keep the forearms or the hands where they are, and press the hips up and back towards the downward facing dog or like a wide dolphin pose. When you're ready, you can come back. Inhaling and exhaling. We attempt to keep that little fire behind the navel, right? We pull the navel back and we pull it up. Nice flat back. You like a little rock, you take a little rock. Inhale, and on the exhale, come to the left side. So either onto the left palm or the left forearm. So we have an option, we can keep the right fingertips down, we can bring the right hand to the hip, or we can lift it high. The feet can be stacked. If I'm feeling a little bit wobbly today, I might take my top foot in front, lift the hips a little bit higher. Inhale to rise, exhale, navel to spine. Inhale here. Exhale, flatten that lower back. Inhale, lift a little bit higher. Exhale, right side. Same options, right? We, we don't change the body to meet the pose. We change the pose to meet the body. So whatever you need to do today, could be a knee down, could be two knees down, maybe fingertips down. 
Just coming back to your inhales and your exhales. Remembering that when things get hard and when things get challenging, we learn from getting through them. Inhale, that's high. Exhale, back to center, stay. I will tell you that you have survived 100% of the things that have thus happened to you so far. So you will also survive this. <laughs> Just keep breathing. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale, almost done. Big inhale, long exhale. Eventually dropping the knees, coming back to a child's pose, releasing the head all the way down, and allowing yourself to settle in for a moment or five, allowing yourself to find the rest that you need and not feeling bad about it. When you're ready, you come back to sit on the heels or on a block in between the heels if you have something you can prop yourself up on, or maybe in between the heels. So our next shape will sort of look like our forearm plank, but it will be like a hybrid because it will start to go up the feet forward, coming towards almost a downward facing dog, but now we're on our forearms, so we have dolphin pose. We'll start to work just like we do in our downward facing dog, finding a nice wiggle, pressing chest back. Trying to ground the heels down, although they may not touch. So we can do a few things here. We can stay here and we can see what happens. And by staying there and seeing what happens, I know what's gonna happen. It's really tough to hold. We're really striking the upper, the upper body here. Or maybe I can start to look at the hands and I can lift a leg and see what happens. I might stay right here. I might play around with lifting the other leg. Okay. Eventually, I might, and this is just a might, lift one leg really high and bend the bottom knee. And then I might start to take tiny, tiny little hops. The first 500 little hops, your foot will only leave the mat a centimeter. Your, your lower body will feel really heavy. And then eventually, you might find a little hang time. Now, if you have a wall behind you, absolutely use it, right? So if we can plank for a couple of minutes, which we just did, then we can certainly hop for a couple of seconds. So give it a try. Have a little fun with it. Maybe today you just take the first hop that you've ever taken. Or maybe you're up in your forearm stand for the next five minutes. I mean, I don't know because I can't see you. And it doesn't matter because it's all yoga. It's all trying something new, trying something new different. I'll just give you a little couple of breaths to just play around with that. And then when you're ready, which does not have to be right now, we'll come back to that thousand pose where the forearms are down, elbows, we start to walk in a little bit more under the shoulders, walk the feet forward, hips are lifted. From this shape, we start to come high up on the toes, bend the knees, and bring the forehead back towards the knees, yes. Holding here, pulling ribs to thighs and thighs to ribs, and breathing. Every inhale and every exhale is deliberate. It's on purpose and it's needed. One more big inhale, and on the exhale, out through the mouth, sigh it out. Walk the feet back. Child's pose, reaching the arms forward, and releasing the crown of the head down, or the forehead down. The next inhale, stay nice and low, take a look forward, and then slither through back to your cobra. Nice baby cobra, bringing the elbows back and the shoulders out of the ears. So on the next inhale, we'll start to walk the hands forward. Thumbs are up. And on the exhale, we'll just release a little bit. Next, inhale, press hips down, lift everything up, just a couple of inches. Holding here, remembering that our core wraps all the way around. Inhaling, lifting, 
And then on the exhale, and yes, just see what happens. You might bump into something. We're going to roll to the right side. We're trying to let anything touch. So the feet are still lifted. Your arms are still lifted. Hold. Inhale back to center. Nothing touches. Exhale, left side. Hold. Nothing touches. A little, little, little bit higher. Back to center. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release everything down. Maybe bending the knees and windshield wiper and feet. And then we'll eventually bring two hands underneath your shoulders, hug the elbows back. Try to inhale with a little bit of oomph. Inhale, fly. On the exhale, start to walk the hands all the way back to the feet. Once we get there, nice flat back, hands can be on the, on the shins or fingertips to the earth. And then on the exhale, folding. The block is nice here. Nice lift of the hips high and the heart low. Maybe a little wiggle left and right. Totally okay to bend the knees. Next, inhale, look forward, we'll crawl back to plank pose. And on the exhale, find your downward facing dog. Keeping the hips nice and high, we'll take the right foot and bring it behind the left wrist, yes. And the left foot behind the right wrist. Angles are crossed, arms are straight. Inhale here, and on the exhale, come to sit. Hug the knees in, boat pose. Your boat pose today might be toes on the mat. Maybe we start to tilt back a little bit. And we keep the hands behind the knees. Or maybe we release. Palms can lift high. Knees can be bent. Or we can start to straighten them. On the inhale, lift the chest. Think about pulling two shoulder blades together to keep the chest rising. Inhale here. Stay. Or on the exhale, lower halfway down with the feet. And on the inhale, come back up. We'll cross two angles and come to sit nice and tall, rocking left and right, extending one leg with the bent knee, the other with the bent knee, reach the arms forward and start to curl the spine down nice and slow, focusing on continuing to breathe. And then once we arrive, we'll hug one knee into the chest and the other knee into the chest and start to rock left and right. Taking the right shin, interlacing fingers, extending the left leg long, letting the knee come a little bit wider, and start to just make little circles. So you feel that feel a little pinch in that right hip flexor. And once you feel it, you know you're there. Inhaling and exhaling. We'll take a switch, bringing the left knee in and extending the right leg. Same thing, little circles, little rocks, left and right. Massaging lower back and going ahead and in. Back to both knees into the chest. And then maybe we'll take two arms inside, finding a happy baby, outer edges of the feet, soles of the feet reach up, and the knees come nice and wide. So even here on the inhales, we may release a bit. And on the exhales, we hug the navel down to the mat and pull it up to the heart. Trying to flatten out that lower back. Eventually, if there's any other shapes or poses that you feel you need or crave before a little bit of rest, then you'll take them. But finding your Shavasana when you're ready, extending the legs. Palms can face up or down. If there's anything going on in the lower back, you might bring the feet wide and allow the knees to come in. Starting to just settle into this space that is yours, that is mine, that is ours. And oftentimes, this is the most difficult pose because this is where we start to give the mind a little bit more space to do its thing. And what the mind does is it makes stories. 
and it feeds whatever we think it feeds. So maybe in this moment, and just in this moment, you can attach yourself to the inhales and the exhales instead of the stories. Eventually starting to deepen the inhales and lengthen the exhales. So much that the body starts to move in small ways. Until you find yourself rolling over to the right side, resting the head on the right arm. Eyes are still closed. And press into the left hand to come back to sit in a shape that feels like you. And bringing our hands to our heart center Reminding ourselves that my practice is not your practice, and your practice is not my practice, but this is all our practice. Lifting the thumbs to the third eye, the space in between the eyebrows. Maybe think love. Dropping your thumbs to your lips. Maybe speak love. And dropping our thumbs to our hearts. May we freely give and receive that love. Thank you for sharing your practice with myself and everybody else tonight. Mm -hmm. Namaste. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yogis. Mm -hmm. It's been fun. Yay. So just turning around to say hello for everyone who joined in. Thank you so very much. That was an amazing power of Firehouse mm -hmm. Flow that we all definitely needed. So thank you, Jody, for holding that space for us. I loved offering it. We love you. We're sending love, light, peace, and some happiness. We're here for you. See you soon. Keep breathing. Thank Bye. you. Okay. Thank you. And I go too. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thanks, everyone. Stay healthy. Peace. Stay happy. Mm -hmm. We love you. I'm sure there's so many great comments right now. Uh, let's see. Hey, oh, everyone, that was amazing. <laughs> okay, and and see.